everybody, welcome to one of the last videos you're going to see before my actual contest happens. Now today, I'm going to pretty much just do a day in the life of, but it's going to be a different day in the life of than my regular day in the life because I don't usually live this day. Today, I'm starting off with an Indian healing mask. Now, this is kind of weird, but what it does is it pulls out the dirt and the blackheads by tightening up after it dries. So right now it's wet, but I'm going to leave it here for about 15 minutes. It's going to dry up. I'm going to take a shower, wash that off. And as you I've sure noticed in the last week or two, my hair has gotten out of control. And a lot of you guys have been commenting and being like, what are you going to cut your hair? You cut your hair, cut your hair today. It would have been just stupid if I'd cut my hair on like Sunday or Monday of this week because by the time I got to my competition it would have already been a long mange. So today is the day. I've actually planned this very precisely. This morning is when I'm going to get my hair cut uh, right before my workout. So like midday, 12, 1 o'clock. Um, and this gives me the perfect amount of time because when I get a haircut, sometimes it looks pretty sweet, but about 85% of the time, right after I get a cut, it looks stupid. So then I have to wait two to three days, and three days is usually the sweet spot where it grows into to where it looks really natural. It just looks sick. So I'm doing the haircut this morning, then I'm working out. Um, after I eat my breakfast, I'm going to wash my healing clay off, and then I'm going to use this to whiten my teeth, five minute whitening system, I'm going to use those, and then probably I'm going to use some white strips towards the last day or two, but I don't have those right now, so I can't show you guys that. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering what I'm eating for breakfast, so here it is. As per tradition, the regular, we have six ounces of chicken, kind of cut up. And like I was trying to say, before the SD card just filled up, I deleted a bunch of videos from the past. I got seven ounces of chicken here, cooked in chili powder with no uh, olive oil, just spray. 150 grams of brown rice and a bunch of mushrooms mixed in with throughout. Now I'm sure you guys are like, oh yeah, cool, <laughs> like cool unique breakfast. I, I, it's the same thing almost every single day. And this stuff is really starting to dry on my face. Damn, my face feels tight. Without further ado, let us start this day. This is the result of that stuff once it dries up. I'm gonna go take a shower, take all this dirty clay off my face. Uh, it feels super tight. My face is like super dry, super, super tight. I keep this in for 15 minutes, that's how long you're supposed to keep it on for. Every time I've, I've done this stuff, it actually really works. It's a five minute whitening system. I'm, that's all it's called, if you guys want to try it out. I love this stuff. I usually use this uh, mostly, and then I'll use uh, Crest whitening strips for like one or two days, and it just comes out perfect. Uh, so I will update you guys after the shower. It is hot. Focus, girl, focus. All right, so switch to the handy cam instead of the SLR because um, I'm gonna be taking this into the gym pretty soon, and it's it's way hard to record with the DSLR because it's like a giant brick, and this thing is eh, kind of looks like a cell phone. You can get away with it a little bit more. Anyways, I'm on the way to get my hair cut finally. This big bushel cut off my head. I had my second meal, which was essentially exactly the same as the, the first meal. There was one ounce more chicken and then exactly the same stuff, but, uh, mushrooms, bell peppers. So I'm gonna get my hair cut and then right afterwards I'm gonna go work out. I know that kinda sucks. I hate that feeling of having like little prickly hairs on you and you don't get to go shower, you go work out. It's all itchy and sweaty, it's disgusting. But then I finally get to take a shower afterwards which will feel excellent. Excellent, which I'm pretty stoked about. I've been getting a lot of comments from people suggesting what I should do the night before, like after I get my tan. Some people are saying like, oh man, you should sleep naked and put like plastic bags down on a, on a couch or something. And the reason that I'm gonna be wearing a pajama suit is actually because I was told to do this by my tanning coach. She said that if you have any bare skin and it touches any other bare skin, like my forearm to my bicep while I'm sleeping or anything at all, It'll create smudges and it will make the tan look inconsistent. So I, ha I have to wear something that covers me from from ankle all the way to wrist. That way, if anything touches, it's just it's just um, cotton or lint. It's whatever material it is. I forget. What, I think it's polyester or like silk or something. I don't know, guys. I'm so freaking tired. For some reason today, I'm just not feeling it. I woke up and I was like. <sighs> like, you know when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, oh man, I'm so glad I can go back to sleep, like, because it's definitely the middle of the night, I'm so tired, that's how I felt, but it was like 10.30 in the morning and I was like, damn it, <laughs> I gotta get up and do stuff. So this is what I look like before, let me, let me puff up my hair so you guys can see the true volume. This is what I look like before, boom, don't I look weird? <laughs> so this guy, uh. It does an awesome job every single time, but he always likes to style my hair with a blow dryer afterwards and like do this weird Q-tippy thing and it looks so funny in my opinion. 
I just because I would never style my hair like this, but who knows? Someone else would. Uh, he also did my eyebrows, which was super cool of him, because I thought about it and my eyebrows were like unkempt on the outside. He, he nicked me a little bit, but like he really lined them up real nicely. And also, look at this freaking zit right there. Ugh, and that one. Both of those bitches, man. They better be gone by Saturday. I'll be pissed as hell. <laughs> he kept hitting this one every time he went. Mmm, aggravating it. So I'm on the way to the gym now. Um, I'm not taking pre-workout, just got water. I wish I was taking pre-workout because I'm tired as hell. I'm gonna show you guys a few of the exercises I'm doing. Remember, today is just a, a full upper body pump and calves. Um, so it'll be a mixture of a whole bunch of different exercises. So I'm gonna try to record at least a few of them so you guys can see what I'm doing. I gotta kick my ass into gear. I know it's like a 70% workout, but I still have to kick my ass into gear to actually get a good workout in. Um, Cause it is still pretty hard. Still gotta keep my heartbeat up really high. Still a lot of energy being used. I just talked to a competitor friend of mine. He's toast too. This is his last day. My last day is tomorrow. Then I'm gonna take Friday as a rest day as well as Saturday. And hopefully that will be the secret combo to win and to achieve victory. I'm just destroyed. I'm so freaking tired. I look naked. <laughs> I'm so tired. If I had a piece of toast to put in front of the camera right now to show you what I am, I would do that, but I don't, so you're just gonna have to figure mentally what that looks like. <laughs> um, I'm heading home right now. Um, I had my two apples, of course, did my, my weight training and cardio. Oh, and let me address the fact that there was no workout footage just now. I tried to get some workout footage in and there were just so many people and then I just realized that recording my footage was stopping me from getting a good workout. So it would have been pointless to show you guys the good workout because I wasn't getting one, you know? So I ended up not recording and I actually did get a good workout. Basically what I did, like I said, was some circuit training. So I would do like chest and then a back exercise and then some sort of shoulder exercise and then a back, chest, and shoulder exercise. And I would just do those um, probably with about 65, 70% of my um, max. And I would do those for like eight to 12 reps, you know, where I'm exerting myself, I'm feeling blood pump into my muscles, but I'm not tearing everything up. I'm not trying to go as hard as, as possible. All right guys, so it is midnight right now. I have to edit this video that you guys are watching now. Um, I just finished my dinner, which was six ounces of chicken and a bunch of onions, and that was it. I'll read you the macros, because I know you guys love hearing that. And as I told you guys, the diet is changing every single day of the week. Um, so we're trying to decrease carbs right now. My total fat for today was 62 grams of fat. My total carbs was 265 grams of carbs and 224 grams of protein. So my protein has been going up, my carbs are going down a little bit, my fat has gone up a little bit as well. And I wanna show you guys this, I'm really excited about this. These are the, the board shorts that I ordered. So these are supposed to be here. Let me blow it up, let me do the big thing. There we go. These are supposed to be here tomorrow. I got like a super rushed delivery. And they're this color, that's the color I'm going with. I think it looks pretty cool. I hope it fits me, otherwise I'm screwed. No, otherwise I'm just gonna have to go to Hangar 94, which is like a super, super cool surf shop, but a little bit expensive. So I'm gonna finish editing this video, and then I'm gonna go to bed. But thank you guys so much for checking out the video, you know, liking all the videos and commenting on all of them, offering your support, it's it's awesome. It makes it so much easier to do all this. And uh, we got some cool vlogs coming up, vlogs. Why do I say vlog, vlog, vlogs? We have some cool vlogs coming up and I appreciate that you guys are gonna watch them. Damn, how many comments am we gonna get about this giant freaking boil thing? Woo! I'm gonna go see if my dermatologist can take me in tomorrow and inject it. Woo! So it'll go away. Cheapest. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out the video. If you haven't liked and commented, please do that. Thank you guys for the support this whole time in this contest prep. It's just been so helpful, and, and I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you very much. Team Beyond the Week, I will see you tomorrow. Big J. Lift heavy or die, Myron! Yeah!